Hello friends, this is two minute series containing the means I will discuss in two minutes the importance topic for your NEET PG exam. So starting with the inheritance pattern in different diseases. X-link dominant. You need to remember five diseases for this and very important. X-link dominant, familial hypophosphatemia, Rett syndrome, Acorelli syndrome, Incognitia pigmenti, Gold syndrome. Moving to autosomal dominant, you all know there is a very popular mnemonic for this that is dominant. D for dystrophic myotonia, osteogenesis imperfecta, Marfan's, intermittent porphyria, Noonan syndrome, achondroplasia, neurofibromatosis, tuberous sclerosis. All of these are autosomal dominant and important ones only. Others, if you see other diseases as autosomal dominant diseases are Huntington disease, retinoblastoma, familial polyposis coli, Gardner syndrome, Tuckett syndrome, Lynch syndrome, juvenile polyposis, Pitt-Jagger syndrome, von Willebrand disease, osteogenesis imperfecta. Osteogenesis imperfecta is the important one, means a recently asked question. Achondroplasia, familial hypercholesterolemia, acute intermittent porphyria. Coming to autosomal recessive, a simple one, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Very simple, huh? A for albinism, beta thalassemia, C for cystic fibrosis, D for deafness, congenital one, E for emphysema, F for Frederick's ataxia, <coughs> G for Gotch's disease, H for homocysteine urea. Autosomal uh, recessive has been done. Now coming to uh, X-linked recessive. So you need to remember 2 Ds and 2, D, 2 C for this. Duquesne's muscular dystrophy, color blindness, chronic granulomatous disease. And G6PD deficiency is also excellent recessive. Lishnihan syndrome is also excellent recessive. And Fabry's disease and hemophilia are excellent recessive disease. So this completes my two minute series and I will update with important other topics later. Thank you. Stay updated. Study hard. All the best.